Good morning, liebe Leute. We are on our way to see Stuðlakil. Stuðlakil is the most visited place in the east. We're gonna show you the reason for that. If you haven't been, go there. Well, we got up super early to use the light because now it's November and we have less light in November than we do in the summer. But uh, the light is beautiful and the mountains here all around us are... My... Wow! We are at Jökulsá á Brú. And the reason why we're here is that my father, Gisli, built this bridge. Very proud of him for that. It's the highest bridge, or was the highest bridge in Iceland at the time, I remember. I think I was five when I lived in Eilstad for a summer while my father was building this bridge. Great job, father. One hell of a bridge. This is a bridge. One thing that I would like to point out is that it's really cold here. The sun is shining, but it is extremely cold. So you gotta be responsible and you gotta take care of the nature here and the weather here. And uh, So like dress accordingly and check the weather before you go somewhere on our way to Stuðlagil Canyon. Basalt columns shaped in every possible way you can imagine. It's 500 meter long. I don't really know how to explain what it is. I guess you just have to see it by yourself. This place, guys, I have no words. Seriously, I have no words. Arrived at Obeda Setrith, a wilderness center. Guys, check this out. Come with me. How charming is that? This is a spa and one of the most charming ones I've ever seen. I wish you could smell the smell here. Look at that, guys. A sauna. Here you can come and relax. Are you ready? Voila. Ne, ne, ne. <laughs> and. <laughs> oh, yes. Please. Ah. I'm gonna change and get in. Are you coming with me? You wanna come with me? In the hot tub? No? Let's change it. <laughs> Everybody in one line, guys, just one line. You gotta be one line, one line. Guys, I can't really think of any better way to end a day like this. Warm, hot tub, just incredibly nice. What a lovely, lovely day, guys. So the East Fjords, or I mean the East in general, keeps surprising because we just came from the spa in the wilderness center and then we enter this house which is literally like my grandmother's house and lamb awaits us with mashed potatoes with butter, rhubarb jam. It's like going back in time and seriously I don't think I've been to as charming of a place as this one is. I'm amazed.